Hi there, it's Karen here from Turquoise Treasures. Welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be working in my journal. I thought it'd be quite nice just to mix things up a bit <coughs> um, instead of just doing fairy journal every time. Um, so I thought I'd uh, do one of my uh, journal with me videos. So today I'm going to journal about our trip to um, Chichester at the beginning of September. So um, I picked out the page. I thought I'd work in this my in the second um, signature um, of my journal, just because I needed a nice big area of fairly blank pages so I can um, put in my photos and and things. I've got an idea of what I want to do. So let's hope it works out. Um, so <clears throat> on the first page, I got some pictures here of the cathedral that we visited. That was beautiful. Um, so I'm just going to put those on. I'm hoping that this page won't take very long because I've got a bit more in, um, <clears throat> a bit more in, in mind for this page. It's going to take a little bit more work. So um, I want to try and get this one done fairly quickly because a cathedral is a cathedral is a cathedral. It's very beautiful, but it's there's not a lot to say about it. But I did want to just just record that we went there. Um, so I'm just going to do a little bit of stenciling. I think I've got this massive 12 by 12 stencil so I've got to try and perhaps I'll have to take this out of the way actually just I'm just holding the page in place but I think I need to move the stencil so it's only not taking up quite as much room I want it to go kind of across the top and down the side a little bit sort of like that I think um, right just get my little <clears throat> then I'm using the Distress Ink Bundled Sage. It, probably if I'd had the oxide it would it would work a bit better just because it, you have to work a bit harder with the Distress Inks to get any coverage really. So that's the idea. So let's see how this turns out. Give it a good old swirl in the ink and let's see how we get on. Nice colour this. I have got a Dissess Oxide in one of the other greens. I think it's peeled paint, but it, it was too yellow, too yellow for this page. So let's just do because it was a very <clears throat> had a very nice sort of leafy area that it was set in, which you might see from the photograph. Let me just I'm hoping that that's come up all right. It looks okay. Right, let's have a quick look. Yep, that gives me a little bit of a background. I think I can put that to one side now. So, <clears throat> not quite sure what else I'm going to put on here, but um, I've just got, so I've got this picture that I'm <clears throat> I took from, kind of from the side. It's quite hard to take a photograph of a cathedral because, you know, you can't always get far enough away from it to get a decent picture. And I've just printed this on um, with my new um, Kodak Step Printer, one of these little instant printers. So it's got the self-adhesive backing. So I might just pop that there. Um, and that one there. And then my husband took a picture of this gargoyle because it's got a pipe but I think what he what he thought was quite interesting I don't know if you can see the photograph he's wearing glasses <laughs> which I don't think I've ever seen a gargoyle wearing glasses before which seemed quite unusual um so whether it's just suggesting that it's a place of learning in in the distant past I don't know but anyway it's quite an interesting one so I thought I'd pop that on there as well so I think I'm going to put this one down anyway just to get started I think sometimes just getting started Try to think about how it, how I want it to look, but you can't always can't always tell until you start putting things down. I'm going to put that one there. Um, so I'm just thinking I need a bit of might need a bit of book page for the gargoyle. So I think 
I might put that there. I feel like it's going to need something else behind it. One of the things I thought I might try and use, I've got this rather nice book page with um, plants and things on it. But the other thing I thought I might try and use is um, is the some of these um, these washy things that I made in the weekly the Roxy's weekly challenge this week. I wondered if one of these might work. Just as a just as a bit of decoration, really. So I might just try and tear a piece off and see how it looks. It's too wide. I'm going to have to um, probably tear it in half the other way as well. Or not? I don't know. Kind of. It's too much, it's too big. I need to cut it down. Maybe just cut it down the middle. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just felt like it would be quite nice to maybe use some of these things that I made. Maybe put that there. Um, I don't know. Would that work? Another thing is I quite like this, so I might try and incorporate a bit of this maybe. I've got quite a quite a firm idea of how I want to do my other page, but this page I'm struggling with a little bit. I'm just wondering whether that would would work. Don't know about the bit of washi, maybe that'll be okay. I'm just gonna ink it up. I feel it needs a bit of definition around the sides. I didn't think I was gonna use this, so I put it over out of my way. That's always a bad idea, isn't it? Off this extra bit that we don't need at the top. Right, I'm just going to try and consult and see if it looks any any good down the side there. We do enjoy a cathedral. What was strange about it though, because when we've been we often visit, if, if we go somewhere where there's got a cathedral, we, I like to go and just sit. Um, my husband always goes round and, and has a good old explore, and I just like to sit and soak up the atmosphere. Because I think sometimes they're just such lovely, peaceful places. I do like to go and just sit in it. But I don't know whether this is a result of COVID, but it was completely empty. There was no chairs, nowhere, no pews, nowhere to sit. Normally you have rows and rows of chairs in these places. But um, there was nothing there, which I thought was quite unusual. I, mean, you're quite, I kind of like that, just on the side there, I think. Not sure why, but I do. So I'm just going to put it there because I quite like it. It's pretty. I uh, don't know about that piece. I, just, I think I like this piece, so I'm just going to put it on there. Um... What can I go? What can I use? I think I will use a bit of this, a bit of the tacky glue. It's got really cold here. It's the last day of September, and the weather has just turned quite cold. I've actually got a little fire on behind me, it's lovely. It's one of those little ones with a bit of a good orange glow and it just just warming up my room my room beautifully. Notice the difference from go downstairs, I went downstairs to make my lunch and it's quite chilly down there. I think Richard's suffering a little bit. It's sort of thinking, I don't want to put the heating on yet, it's too soon, but he's cold. <laughs> so he's he's sort of arming and ahhing because he's you know when you're working from home you're not moving around very much. And he's really feeling it down there. 
I said, well, you know, <laughs> put the heating on if you're cold. I'm all right, I've got my little fire. So it's up to him. Right, let's see, because what I want to do, I've got, um, I've got my little click stamps. So I want to put Chichester Cathedral down the side there. I think that might just fit. I might do that first, certainly before I put this on because it might not fit otherwise. And then the cathedral bit's got to go across that way, I think. Don't think it'll go down. So let's put that on first. And I don't want to find, I can't fit any, fit my, uh, put my words in. So they, so I've got it in little sections because I've only got one left, one, one C, so I need to, so I'm just going to try and print that there. Ch, ch. Okay, I love these stamps. So then I take the eye off. And I've got the the next bit lined up somewhere. I had them all here in front of me now. Where'd they go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> in front of me. So I've got the est. So chichest. Hang on. Uh, that's it. Click them together like that. Chichest. So much easier than trying to do each letter individually. And they're perfectly spaced as well. And then I've just got to do the uh. I've got the R. Is that the R? No, that's the I. Here's the R, I think. Yep. E R. Just, uh, just move this down a touch. It might just fit. Oh, no, not the green. Uh, the black. Oh, it's the black I want. This is the only bit that's a bit dodgy, whether you can get it lined up properly. That's not too bad. And then I need to try and do cathedral somewhere. Ideally, I've had the sea coming off the other C, but I didn't really want it going across the top, I wanted it to go across here. So what I might do, maybe have it going, have that there and then have it going across the bottom, maybe. So am I going to be able to get this on? I think I just need to trim that little bit off. Um, I'm just going to stick that there, just because I quite like it. <laughs> no other reason, and I want to use a bit of the stuff that I've made. Otherwise, what's the point of making them if you don't use them? Okay, I'll just put a bit of, bit of glue. I don't even know if I'm putting this in the right place, but I feel like it needs to be down the side reason. I wonder. Um, oops. If I put that there, maybe I put that there. Can I get cathedral down there? That, would, that might work down there, mightn't it? Let's see if I can fit it. All right, I had to sort out my uh, the cathedral off, off camera because it took a while to put it all together. Um, I, I did it vertically like the, I've done the Chichester, but it just was so long, it wouldn't fit, and it, I couldn't make it all work. So um, I've changed it around and I've made it uh, horizontal, so it's a lot shorter that way. What I love about this is you've got the option to do either, and I quite like that um, with these ones. So, and that fits just nicely in there, luckily. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick that one on there, 
and pop him down here and cathedral should just fit in here like that which will be perfect so I just feel like I need a little something here um, I don't know whether a bit of the a bit more of this would work. It's very linear, isn't it? I'm I'm feeling a circle. I'm feeling a circle, but I don't know what circle. Um, let's see what circles I've got in my box where I did a load of circles for the challenge. So let's see. Um, use one of my little brown boxes and uh, put all the circles I hadn't used in here. So let's see if I can find a circle or even more than one circle. I quite like to use circles where, where there's lots of, so obviously there's lots of you know, linear um, rectangles and things so it's, it'd just be nice to have something to soften that up a bit. Something like him might work quite nicely, maybe. Um, what else have I got? And these were from another challenge from Rachel. So that might be quite good to, to use. I don't know whether this one is a bit too big. I've got a few of these larger ones. Some of them are a bit odd where they don't have a very good image, but that one's quite nice. Let's see if a larger one would be any good. Just try, I think it might be too big. That one as well. Would he go in there or would he go on top there? I think it's too big, a bit too dominant. So I go back to the other one, the bird, which I quite like there. Needs inking, of course, otherwise it just disappears in into the um, background needs just a little bit of definition. So there we are, look at all this. Using two of the things that are made in Rachel's challenge, things that are a bit challenging to actually find a use for, but they're going on, they're going on here. So I'll put that on there, or right on right on top I think. And I'm wondering about a small one to go in the other corner. And get hold of it. I don't know if I want a postmarky one. What else have we got in here? I want a small one. Piece of music. What about a piece of music? I always associate cathedrals with music. I know I've got, I did one small one as part of the challenge, but I don't know if I can find it now. No, let's just tip them all out. See what I've got. There's a bit of green there, which is the same green as the background. Just to intensify that greenery. Hmm. Yep, maybe. Oh, okay. There's a little little version of the green. Um so I'm wondering about putting that Music and a little green in the middle. Okay, well, well, we'll maybe figure that out after. I want to put that down and I want to put this, I think, on top. So I'm just going to stick this one down.
because this is fairly thick paper I can use the tacky glue I think to put this one on Just just softens those corners a bit, and those edges. This gives it another dimension. And then what should I do? Put him just slightly overlap him there. Oh no, I was going to put the cathedral down there, wasn't I? So maybe I'll have to put that down. To make sure I leave enough room. Uh, I've lost the top for this. Put it out of the way. Okay, um, cathedral. Let's put that on. Whoop, yeah. Hold them together. Let's hope it works. Yep. Okay, happy with that, and then we'll put put him there. Will he span the two? Yep, put that there. And I think maybe that doesn't need any more. Let's get the backing off this if I can. Yep. Right. A little bespectacled gargoyle on there. Okay. I hope you can see. Sorry if I've been a bit off camera there. It's not always easy to keep everything in sc on screen at the same time. Um. Yeah, I think that's that's enough actually. I think I'm I'm happy with that. Yeah, I quite like that. So we will move on to the fun page. Well, I'm hoping it'll be fun. <laughs> I have an idea what I want to do, um, but I don't know if it'll work out because sometimes things are in your head that when they go on page they don't necessarily work out quite as well as you hope. We will see. Let's just get rid of all these circles. Have I missed any? I don't think so. Right. So this page is all about um, what was inside the cathedral. And it was amazing. It's about this, this window. It's called the Chagall window. Um, he, he, I'm sure you've probably heard of him. He's a very very famous artist. There was actually um, a plaque to tell you all about it, and, which I want to incorporate as well, the Chagall window, and it was unveiled by Her Royal Highness the Duchess of Kent. I uh, can't see when. Oh, in 1978, the window was unveiled. But it was designed by... Mark Chagall. So I don't know when he was around, but presumably in, in the 70s. So my idea is to try and make the surround like a stained glass window. Try and emulate the window in the background. That's the kind of idea I've got. How well it'll work out, as I say, I don't know. But I'm going to give it a try just because I think it'll be fun. So I've got a whole load of bits and pieces in various beds. So one of the things I've got is this tissue paper, which I've been, uh, I've had for ages, thinking it'd be lovely to use. And look how perfect the colours go with the window. So I'm going to use some of that. I've got some painted book page in a red. I've got some of my little, oops, can't get hold of them, stamped pieces that I did as part of uh, Rachel's challenge, stamped with uh, with this little, like a little Moroccan 
latticey look stamp. I've got bits and pieces of that. So I just want to kind of do lots of little bits and tear it around. And because it's blue in there as well, I shall have a few little bits of blue. So I've got some blue painted papers as well. And I've got a different piece of book page with, that's been painted. I've got some fabrics, don't know if I'll use the fabrics, but I might use them as the tab. I've got some plain red, but I don't know if I'll use it. Plain red tissue paper, because there's plenty of tissue here, so probably won't need that. And I also thought I might put in one or two um, stamps. I've got my stamp book, and I've got somewhere I think I have some red... There you are, I've got some red stamps as well. So I thought I might use one or two of those here and there. Well, there's my top, got my glue. So that's the idea, whether it'll work out, as I say, who knows, but we're going to give it a try for something different, sort of collaging, to try and recreate the idea of a stained glass window. So I think I just need to reduce the size of this piece of tissue paper for a start, because it's enormous. I'm going to cut it because it's easier than trying to tear it in a straight line. I'm just going to cut the corner off. Let's cut it across here. Oh. It wants to tear down, it wants to tear across. There we are. I've got plenty more if I need it. So I think I'll start by just tearing up a load of pieces. Whoops. Put that to one side. And just start tearing bits up. paper seems to only want to tear in one direction so it's a bit tricky. But I only want little pieces. Alright, so I've just kept on tearing. I've got all my bits of um, tissue paper here. I've got some red book page here, some of the blue, and the slightly different colour blue. So I've just got a few more of these pieces just I want to tear up. Of this um, slightly more turquoisey blue. These are all done with um, painted with my Dilusions acrylic paints. I did this for a completely different project, but they've come in really handy. The only thing is now I'm almost out of red and I was going to do some, use some of that for Christmas so I'll have to do some more, won't I? I'll have to do some more painting of pages which is quite fun to do anyway. Right, so I've just got a little pile. I may have to do some more. I've got my little stamped pieces here as well. So let's just put this to the side and bring in my book. Now I think, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use, the first time I've probably used it for this, I'm going to use my, my book weight. I hold that down. So I put that kind of on there. Will that work? Yeah, I think it might just work, just like that. Just get some of the right. Um, so I think I'll just because it's tissue paper mostly. I'm going to start off with that and just cover some cover some of the area with with glue. I think maybe I'll put something underneath that page in case the glue goes over the edge. Yep, just to protect the other page from in the background. So I'm not going to go um, into the middle because that's where the image is going to be. Um, so I'm just going to glue some pieces on. They're all, I've just literally just torn them completely randomly. Let's get... There 
I just want to put a few other little bits and pieces in between. So, um, put a bit of this. I don't know if that's going to, I might need to put extra glue on the bits of paper. So I just have my glue book by my side and just, so I need, I need to do any extra gluing, I can do that. Actually I could put that on here. Right, so, oops, keep going down the side. And maybe just a little bit of blue paper. I don't know how this will look, but I'm having lots of fun. I think I've got far too many bits of paper, though. <laughs> it's quite a fun way to collage. But it's kind of um, quite nice to have something to base it on. It's not just random. Now, what have I done with glue? There it is. It's not ran completely random collaging, because I'm trying to somewhat emulate... Well, not emulate. Echo is probably a better way of putting it. Um, the... Um, the window with all the, all the lovely colours this piece across the top I know it doesn't really fit in with the picture of the um, window, but I just thought bringing in another element would be nice. And just build up the layers. There's quite a lot of green in the paper as well, which is good. There's a bit of green in the picture. I don't know if you can see the picture. If I keep that kind of in view, and you can sort of see where I'm going with this. And I just want to go all the way around the around the um, outside of the page, really. I think we need a little bit more book page. See that trying to get a little stamp in there, a little red stamp. I've got a few. Let's just bring in my stamps and see if I can find something that will. One or two interesting looking ones here. I've got a few of these about. There's another good colour. a nice colour. Let's put that one. There. Alright. Just keep the 
he's handy. I need more glue? No. Then we're okay for glue on that side. Or maybe we do. Piece of this. Do want a bit of blue? No. I want a bit of this red one, which is a different different font from a different book. Down here. rather than on the book really, don't know that for the book page. There we are. Um a bit more of this. It starts to get tricky when your fingers are getting really gluey. it onto something so I can flip it up so I might need to put something in the middle here or I don't know quite what I'm going to do on there unless I just cover the whole thing maybe I will Let's see if, how it would look because the Chagall window is going to be this piece is going to be inside so maybe I need to just cover the whole thing it might be the simplest Just add loads of glue. That's getting quite quite sticky now, but that's okay. I'm quite happy to just keep on adding more, building up the background. I'm really enjoying it. Can you tell? Just enjoying the process. All sorts of weird and wonderful shapes, but when you're overlapping them, um, and it, it gives that kind of effect, I think, of, of um, a stained glass window. At least in my in my mind, it's giving me it's giving that kind of effect. thinking is his even a yeah I mean his his does depict a scene which obviously I'm not even considering attempting I'm gonna have a bit of a bit of the blue put it on glue that one there and I want to put another stamp on where do I put them? 
Where did they go? Oh, here they are. It's just to add a little extra interest, really. And I want to put another piece of piece of this on as well. Gonna go on, go down here. Maybe across here. Yeah, why not? Because by the time I've put other bits over the edges, it softens all the all the edge. Then it starts to <clears throat> incorporate all these things into the background. Um, yep. Okay. Gosh, I'm running out of tissue. I'm going to have to tear up some more. I wasn't sure how much I'd need. But, um, yeah, I'm using a lot more than I expected. I, d I wasn't necessarily planning to cover the whole page, but I think actually it makes sense to do that. And then I won't have any funny edges in the middle. Right, so here's my Chagall window all finished. Or window, not obviously window shape, but... Uh, so now what I need to do is make my flip up with my picture. So the picture will go on here. But obviously if I lay it like that, it completely disappears. Um, so what I've picked out, I've got this uh, beautiful piece of um, book page. It's from one of these, I've got a couple of these. I've got this one, which is the West Country is a garden. I've also got England is a garden. Um, and they're really, really beautiful book. Love some lovely images, um, flowers and things. Um, it's not particularly old, but it has that, it's a lovely thick paper and it's got a nice fin edge to it and it smells nice as well. So what I, my idea was, and I hope this is going to work out, if I put this on like this, upside down, and back it, and cut round it, then I flip it up, and there's this picture of the cathedral. Now it's not Chichester Cathedral. Um, I've looked through the book. They, I think it's the wrong. It's got things from further west, I think, than than Chichester is. This is actually Wells Cathedral. So it's not the same, but it is a cathedral, and it's a really nice image. So I thought if I had that on the back, so if you flip it up, you'll see that picture. So that's what I'm going to try and do. And then you've got this little, little florally bit around here, which is quite pretty. So I'm going to try and see if I can get that to to work so maybe if I just tear it either side of the cathedral from this side so I want my um, my page to dry a bit because I've got a little bit more I want to do on it I want to do a bit of a um, a stamp on it which is like a crackle stamp and I thought that might give the effect a bit more of it being stained glass I don't know how well it will show up um, but I'm going to give that a try as well. So I'm just going to try and tear down my book page, keeping everything crossed so that it goes straight. Not so worried about the bottom bit because I don't need all that. So that's kind of there. And then I might tear it about there on the other side. Okay. And just cross the bottom here, I think. And then 
So I'm going to put, so that will be flip up. So that will go like that. And then that, the window will fit on like that. Let's see how that looks before I completely commit myself. Oh, and in between, while I had the camera off, I also added a little label here uh, with the date. I just, I always like to put the date on things. Right, let's see. So that would go on there like that. And then it would flip up like so. And then you'd see the cathedral in the background. Okay, quite liking that. I think it's just, I just want to just trim this off just a little bit. Oh, go over there this time. Okay, just a little bit off the top, it's a bit too much. All right. rubbish thing the wrong side for me okay so that's going to be the flip up so I'm going to put that there I'm hoping that's going to hold it flat and I'm just going to put a little tab down here okay let's let's try that fingers crossed it works some dirty marks here. I've got, I've got ink on my fingers They're coming off on the on the book page which is not good. Right. <clears throat> right, let's just so first of all I want to round these corners. And I think I might ink around it as well. Do me big the big corner I think for this. My in. I always like it when there's a satisfying crunch to show it's worked properly. Like that. That's gone a little bit fluffy along the edges. I'm not, I'll cut off some of the little fluffy bits. Okay. All right, let's just do a little ink around the edge just to define it a bit. And I've just got a few more a few more of the uh, slightly fluffy edges. Sticking very well. Ooh, what's that? A bit of vellum or something. It's tracing paper stuck to my glue. I don't normally use glue stick for photographs. I don't know why I've decided to do that. It's been a long while since I've been since I've stuck photographs into things. I forgot what I use. I usually I've always used um, double-sided tape in the past. For some reason I decided to go for the glue stick and that probably wasn't the best plan. Let's go with it now. All right. So what I would like to do is put a little tab on it. I've got some little bits of fabric that I thought might go. I quite like this one. 
I also like this one. I think I like this one. I like this one too. No, I'm going to go with this. And it just needs to be doubled up like that. Central, yep, near enough. Right. Okay, so I've got my little tab. Now I need to oops, what am I doing? <laughs> Bring that back in, see if it's dry enough to stamp on. I don't know if it is. It feels okay. Should give it a try. And then I've got to stick my little plaque. That might not need a backing though, I'm hoping. But it will be a contrast to what, what's in the background. Um, I don't think I've tried this stamp before, but it doesn't really matter because it's not going to... Um, show a huge amount. I'm just give, trying to give an impression of um, stained glass. I get doing the crackling effect all over it. We'll see. enough just to give an idea that it's a stained glass window that's all okay now I want to put my picture of the plaque where the explanation was for what it, for what it was which I'm trying to see if I can spot it where's it gone I lost it it's upside down that it? Yes, that's it. So it just says the Chagall window. So if I put that there, I think that will show up enough to not need anything around it. I think. Um, so this time I will use some double sided. See if the tape of backing will lift off because sometimes I have trouble with it. That's it. Is it coming away? I think it is. Yep. One. Two. 
it's got this called finger lift so it's got a little the edge of the paper is wider than the tape so it should give you something to get hold of doesn't always make it a lot easier but it is a bit all right so the sharp sugar window is going to go right in the middle And now I need to position this over the top with I'm going to use some washi as my hinge. Now I've got this which is I think going to blend in quite well with the background. I'm going to give it some extra glue. It was really stunning this window with the sun coming through. It doesn't come over very well on my photograph but um, it was the best, it was the better of the two that I've got. The other one I printed on my little step printer and you can see it really loses a lot of the colour um, and I wanted a bigger picture anyway so I thought I'd do it on this, on my, on my main printer rather than my little step printer. <clears throat> So, line that up so it's central, I'll put a little higher. Okay, and then maybe I'll have to put another one over the top here. to give it a little bit of extra strength. Hang on, where's my other scissors gone? Don't really want a torn edge on this. in quite well with the background. Okay, so there we are. That's my Chagall window. With well, the backing of more Chagall window. <laughs> At least my interpretation. Can't find my top, never mind. So that's my two pages. They're quite different from each other, but um, they're really quite fun to do. I am quite enjoying doing this journal journaling um, in this in this book so I do plan to do a bit more let's take that out and there we have it Chichester Cathedral featuring the Chagall window which is talked about in here it's not hugely clear to read but you can read it at least it tells you what it is and then there's a nice image of another cathedral on the back of that I quite like that okay there we are thank you for joining me today and do join me again soon. Bye for now.